check with you, check. Hey, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. I was speaking to myself for a few seconds, for a few minutes there. Um, so good to good to know we're back. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's it's good to to make a radio check at the start of every of every stream. This is the exact reason why. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the channel for today's um, Japanese Grand Prix night stream once again uh, i won't be using my camera tonight i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just you know I, I just got out of bed to, to stream so my hair is a mess my clothing's less than optimal my face is yeah not there so you know like old times we haven't had a camera in for the first i don't know i think like two years so it's gonna be fine we, we we're gonna pull through um yeah so welcome back japanese grand prix time it's um well it's 2 a.m here i don't know what it is where you are but uh please let me know in the chat guys don't spam in the chat it's pretty easy i mean just don't you know So, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Japanese Grand Prix. Yesterday we got the qualifying. It was okay. I mean, it was fine. The Q3 was uh, pretty much decided the second it, uh, the drivers set their first times. Uh, no penalties have been incurred by any driver. Um, yeah, it was a pretty uneventful qualifying yesterday. 10 p.m. in Mexico, 7 a.m. in Germany, that's a good time. 10.24 a.m. in India, nice, yeah. Some people in, in Europe just having to wake up a little early, it's it's completely fine. <laughs> it's 6 to midnight here, well, that's fine as well, I mean, it's a good time. 4.55 in New Zealand, I'm assuming p.m. instead of a.m. Uh, because if it's a.m., you guys got fucked, uh, but it doesn't really make much sense if it were. 2 a.m. I mean, you would be in the middle of the of the ocean if that were the case. I don't think there's any minus uh, one or minus two countries. UTC minus one. Oh well, yeah, I mean, th th there must be like in, in Africa and such, but uh, it's not that common. Let's just say. Okay. Oh, there we go. The stream has started. Um, let me resize these windows. D d d d d d d d d. Okay. Blow nose now. No, no blow nose now. Maybe later. <laughs> I have a friend in Japan. Not not in the race. It's in Tokyo right now. And and this is like a good time for us because we have been speaking um we have been speaking through the past uh, few days and I, I, I send him a message and he replies like twelve hours later and then I reply and then he replies. But right now I think for the first time we're both up. So round four of twenty-four here in this Formula One championship um japan the second of the three asian zone races uh, because australia is not in asia but still um yeah this one and china is gonna be the next one and the final one from this section um yeah the suzuka circuit i, I almost guys i gotta let you in on a secret i almost slept through <laughs> Um, I didn't wake up in my first alarm, I woke up in the second one because it was, uh, my alarm was, was way, too, the, the volume was just way too low. So yeah. Um, the compounds for this weekend are the same as yesterday. The hardest compounds are the C1, C2, and C3 are gonna be used during this weekend. 
but yeah, I almost did a, I almost did a 2022. Um, so Joe Wenyu is going to be starting in 20th place alongside Logan Sargent in the Williams, and it's going to be Kevin Magnussen starting in P18 next to Pierre Gasly in the Alpine P17 for him, P16 for Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin alongside Esteban Ocon in 15th place. Uh, 14th is uh, for Alex Albon alongside Valtteri Bottas, who had a decent first show in yesterday in qualifying, then it sank a little bit. Nico Hulkenberg will be starting in 12th place, and Ricardo in 11th behind his teammate Yuki Tsunoda in 10th. George Russell will be starting in P9 uh, for Mercedes. Benz P8 will be for Leclerc alongside Lewis Hamilton, the seven-time world champion. P6 will be for Oscar Piastri, who will be starting alongside Fernando Alonso in the other Aston Martin P4 for Carlos Sainz on the second row alongside Lando Norris in the McLaren. And it's a front row lockout for Red Bull with Sergio Perez in second and Max Verstappen starting in first. Uh, I mentioned you to drink some coffee. No, I'm up. I'm up. Uh, it was, uh, I'm better than yesterday. Uh, I, I think you can tell I'm not as tired as yesterday. It's, it's fine now. Um... At least for now. I mean, perhaps in an hour, I will be pretty, pretty dead. But let's see. Two AM is a serious commitment. Well done. Nah, it's fine. I mean, a serious commitment was uh, Australia. That was, I think, three or four AM. That was insane. Um, but the thing is with um, let me see. When was uh? Australia, it was at oh one to three a.m. Yeah, no, I mean with Australia, I just stayed up. Uh, that was fine. I stayed up until three, and then I went to sleep. Um, with with China, uh, I could just you know wake up earlier and and stay up, and that would be fine. But with this one, there's a problem because um, I'm having to go to sleep. Then waking up at two until four, and then going back to sleep. Well, actually waking up at like one forty-five. Um, so yeah, this one's like in the middle. It's a it's a weird spot. Anyway, let's continue on with this. Um, the tire covers are being lifted off the cars. Let me. I will check on you. Um, in just a few seconds, uh, what the tires are for the drivers. Okay, the formation lap is about to be underway. There we go. How many laps? We are gonna get um, 53 laps through these Japanese circuits. Uh, so, from the top 10, it seems like uh, only Fernando Alonso is gonna be starting on the softs, yes. Because he's got a new set of them. I think he's one of the only drivers to have a new set of softs. Uh, and then it's gonna be, yeah. So only him from the top 10, then it's Hulkenberg, Bottas, Albon, yeah, okay, so I think everyone under the top 10, uh, okay, there we go. So the top 11 is going to be starting on the mediums, then Hulkenberg, Bottas, Albon, Ocon, Stroll, Gasly, and Sargent on the softs, and Magnus and Joe on the mediums. So it's a predicted two-stop strategy, this one, from soft to hearts to hearts, or from mediums to hearts to mediums, or mediums to hearts to hearts, of course. Um, and yeah, let's see what what happens there uh, in the end. What what uh, what surprises we will end up with through this through this two hour pretty much ordeal. Max Verstappen starting the third sector pretty shortly. So the previous winners of this race have been Verstappen. And Verstappen the past two years, then Bottas, then Hamilton, and then Hamilton. So it's been um, Mercedes and Red Bull all the way through.
Um, to be honest, I'm fine waking up early for effort races rather than everything else. It's Luis Emuno. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it's better to, to wake up a little bit earlier and, you know, be up, have a cup of coffee, have some breakfast and then uh, enjoy a nice race and then get started with your day. I think it's um, it's the best way to do it. I mean, that's how I do most of my European races. I wake up at like 8 um, because the races start at 9 usually. Or sometimes they start at 8, so I wake up at 7.30. Or 7. Depends on how hungry I am. <laughs> Alonso Softs, yes, he's the only one in the top 11 to be starting in that compound. So, lining up in the grid. We're seeing the past few, the last few drivers uh, going through the final chicane. Oh, Jose, hello, dude. How are you? Didn't see you. <clears throat> Okay, let's see, lining up there at the back end of the grid. Last few drivers there. And that's the medical car, green flag at the back. And it's one, two, three, four, five red lights. And it's a quick getaway, and it's a nice reaction from the Red Bulls at front. Max Verstappen leading this race alongside uh, his teammate Checo Perez. Then it's Fernando Alonso being blocked a little bit there by the McLarens. The McLaren of Lando Norris is ahead of Carlos Sainz. Then it's Fernando Alonso who's defending that position from Oscar Piastri right behind them. We have Lewis Hamilton, and then still everyone is pretty much on the same. Oh, and that's Logan Sargent. Oh, no, that's Alex Albon. That's Alex Albon on the wall, straight into the wall with Daniel Ricciardo, apparently. So uh, those two may have had contact. They are both out of this race before turn three of this Japanese Grand Prix. Yellow flag on the first sector, and that's a red flag. Red flag, a uh, false start, pretty much. The race has been aborted as of now. Everyone's going to come back in. Um... Damn, that's gonna be that's a lot of damage to the tire barriers. I mean, they're pretty much ripped out, so we're gonna be here a while, guys. We're gonna be here a while. Where's Ricardo? I haven't seen him. I'm only seeing Will the Williams of Album there. Alvin says, I'm okay. Um, remember, Williams are, are battling with a serious lack of parts. Oh, the, both of the cars are right there. Williams doesn't have a spare chassis, so let's hope that one's okay for China, because otherwise I don't think they're going to be they're going to be racing for it with two cars. But yeah. Um, the the barriers are being lifted now a little bit as as to let the drivers through and yeah, let's see a restart of the race. What happened there at the back? It's a nice getaway from the Haas. It's a nice getaway from the Alpha, uh, from the Alpha, from the Sauber. Um, so yeah, both us off to a great start. And then what happened there was their contact. Between, yeah, Stroll was also there in the incident, apparently. Oh, my God. Yeah, so Ricardo just ran Albon out of room and then spun. Yeah. So, Albon, I'm going to have to see a replay of that one to decide. Okay, good. And uh, now we got an onboard replay of Alex Albon through that third corner. This will basically cause a second start. Yes. Are they okay, though? Yes, they, yes, they are okay, of course. They are fine. Um, yeah, Ricardo getting a good speed off the start, but then falling back immediately. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, no, that was Ricardo's fault. Skittish rear through the whole thing uh, for the Toro Rosso and then made contact with with Williams. He squeezed him out and then made contact with him. Uh, Ricardo then spun and Albon went straight into the wall. Yeah, that was a that was a really bad start. Yeah, no traction whatsoever. I mean, correcting all the way through turn one, turn two, not getting those medium tires up to temperature in the slightest there. Um, and yeah, we saw we saw the aftermath there. Let's go on board with Stroll now, as he gets ahead of one of the Williams. A good getaway for him. Um, almost got past both of the Toro Rosos if it weren't for Ricardo slowing down there. Uh, his position was slightly compromised as he goes round the outside now. He is... Oh, damn. Yeah, so Stroll was just a, a bystander in that one. But it gives us a good uh, a good viewing position for the incident, same as Kevin Magnussen. Um, those two just took out each other. Apparently, yeah, Ricardo ran all on a room, so that's... That's about it. I mean, that's about it. <laughs> Rick the Breeze. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now, they're both fine, which is uh, what's important here. But a bummer. Bit of a bummer there. <laughs> Fernando, you want some new tires? He's got some new tires. So one of the cars is already being lifted up. So one thing we can... Oh, no, that's the second car already being lifted up. So one thing we can commend the Japanese for is uh, working fast there. Um, wasn't meant to be a, a stereotypical or something common there. It was just, you know, they are Japanese folk there and they are fixing and, and getting the car out quick. <laughs> That's a fact. So, uh, yeah. What a start. Yeah, what a start. Two people down already, Albon and Ricardo. So we are down to 18 runners. Messed up the barrier. Oh, yeah, they messed it up real good. They're going to have to fix that one. But let's hope that it gets uh, done real quick. The last time they took out the tractor fast. Yeah, but this time everyone's in the pits already. Logan is nervous that album will steal his car after totaling his own. Yeah, let's hope that that's what happened. Poor Daniel can't catch a break. I mean, he he makes that his own. I mean, it's not that people crashed into him or forced him to to push up on wide and then spin that that was that was on his own you know <laughs> all about to jump into sergeant's car mid race lmao yeah yeah pretty much for those asking where to watch a phone go and check your local area provider yeah pretty much not much I can do about that. Bro can't handle the pressure. Yeah, uh, and the car. He can't handle the car either. So Albon's car is being already towed out of the track. Rolling restart? Um, no, we're usually, un unless it's raining or, or such, uh, we're probably going to get a standing start, a second one from the, yeah, from the grid. So Gasly made a few positions and is up into 14th place there. Uh, pretty good for him. Both us up into 11th. That's also nice and decent. Nico Hulkenberg also made up a few positions. Uh, and then, yeah, all the guys that were behind also made up two places because Albon and Ricardo didn't start in 19th and 20th. The Japanese are very efficient in everything they do, says Robert I. Uh, oh my god, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 people fixing that barrier right now. 14. 15. <laughs> they just keep coming up. 
Nice. Thank you, Winston, for the order of the restart. That's um that's nice. One eleven, so that's Verstappen, Perez, Norris, uh fifty-five Carlos Sainz, then it's Alonso, Piastri, uh, Hamilton, Leclerc, uh, Russell, uh Ham uh Hulkenberg, Bottas, Joe, Ocon, Gasly, Le uh, ah, Lance Stroll, uh, Kevin Magnussen, Logan Sargent, and Joe Wan Yu. I think I nailed all of them. <laughs> Part of the commentator, you know? Knowing by heart every single number. I sometimes, you know, get a few of them mixed up. But, uh, like, in, in the 20s or something, like, we got 22, 23, and 24, for example, on the grid. And 20. F1 TV is blaming Ricardo. Yeah. Yeah, we are as well. Uh, Hulkenberg P10, what a start. Yeah, I mean... Uh, he made up two places because the two guys behind had issues. But still, it was it was a good start. Bottas and Hulkenberg both went round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Da -da. Um... In front of in front of the of the Toro Rosso that had a bit of a slow start. We already got an ultimatum. Damn. Yeah, I love Danny, but he should have stayed off the grid. Yes, he should have. Yes, he should have. That's Albon there. That's unfortunate for Albon. I mean, it wasn't shaping up to be a great weekend for the Williams team, but it, I mean, it, it it didn't look bad. It was fine. I mean, it was. It, it could have been points, perhaps. Oh my God! It's like twelve tow trucks there, getting uh, <laughs> parked on the side of the road. Okay, so the Red Bulls have text in Japanese in their caps. I don't know what it says, but I'm, I'm assuming it says Red Bull. Ocon celebrates P13 now. Hell yeah. P13 for now, because he's not going to keep that position through the race, that's for sure. Oh, um, in a bit of international news here since we're in the middle of a red flag and we don't have much to say just saw Sergio Perez and, and remembered what what happened yesterday with um, with Ecuador I don't know if you guys knew it's uh, just um, it's just a uh, an interesting piece of trivia and international news I'm not gonna do any opinions I'm just gonna state the facts because it's it's interesting um, the ex vice president of Ecuador, Suk, uh, yeah, Suk Shelter, Suk, Sikht, Sikht Shelter in the Mexican embassy in in Ecuador, and then, uh, well, the the Ecuadorian army barged in and arrested him, uh, because he had already been convicted, and and yeah, that that I mean that's pretty much an act of war. So <laughs> so that's that's going to shape up interestingly. I'm rooting for you. Well, thank you, but I'm not the one racing. Um I'm rooting for for the 18 drivers. Uh race has been banned. No, race has been red flagged. Alonso looks sporty. He is good around here. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, he is. Ricardo's not at fault. Dude, do you have eyes? <laughs> Seek Sot. Yeah, okay, so it's Sot. Yeah, I, I had a brain fart in that one. 
sometimes that happens. So Mexico arrested uh, Ecuador or the other way around. No, no. Ecuador arrested uh, the Ecuadorian vice pre ex vice president, but inside the Mexican embassy, which is technically Mexican soil. So they barged in an embassy that's illegal through like the Geneva Convention, I think, and, and arrested the, the guy and took him out. Uh, and yeah, that's, uh, that's a big problem. That's a big problem. It's a racing incident. I don't really think it's a racing incident. Oh! Chappas in it uh, donated one pound. So thank you so much for your donation. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, just a racing incident? I don't think that's a racing incident. I mean, it's a money badger. <laughs> It's uh, pretty clear that um, that from what we've seen, I mean, Ricardo just was not in control of that car. He went wide uh, in that corner, pushed Albon out, and initiated, let's say, the contact. So, if I had someone to blame, I would say I would say it's Ricardo's fault. My girlfriend has a red flag every month. Dude, I've been there. Get out. You're gonna be way happier. Um, yeah, I do not recommend staying there. <laughs> I mean, I had a red flag every week, but still. Can we get full commentary about what happened? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I, I thought I already said that, but in case I, I forgot, yeah, of course I will. Um, so a poor start from Daniel Ricciardo and a decent start from Alex Albon. Uh, I mean, nothing out of the ordinary for the Williams. So they went through turn one, through turn two. Ricciardo was never really in control of the car, really skittish throughout. Having to correct all the way through turn one and turn two. When they got to three, uh, Lance Stroll was looking to overtake round the inside, um, but wasn't quite there yet. Then uh, Ricardo, I mean, went pretty wide there. Uh, Alex Albon was on the outside of um, of Ricardo, so he wasn't really three wide because Stroll wasn't in position yet. He was quicker though, but he wasn't in position. As uh, so they went into turn three, it was Ricardo ahead of Stroll slightly, and around the outside we had um we had the Williams of Albon. Uh, so Ricardo understeered off the circuit. Uh, made contact with his right rear with Albon's front left and sent him, well, both out of the track. Uh, now, I think the, the barrier's fixed. Yeah, all the cars, all the trucks, all the personnel are, yeah, getting, uh, clearing the track and I think we may be good for racing again. Not beating Ricardo again, yeah, yeah, bro. You know nothing about it when it was William's fault, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Will Alex take Logan's car now? I wouldn't be surprised, but no, not now. Oh, look at that baby. Uh, is it a great start? Yes, it's it's gonna be a, a great start again. Race will restart in just under 10 minutes. Good. Just over, sorry, 10 minutes. 11, actually. In 11 minutes. There's Iwasa in the pit lane of Toro Rosso. I could have gone to sleep this random person. I mean, I don't know what time it is over there, but yeah, maybe. I just joined the stream just to see a red flag. We're going to get going in just under 10 minutes, so don't worry, dude. Oh, if you enjoyed the race start, if you enjoyed the, the, the weekend so far, make sure to, to drop a like here on the stream. It is highly appreciated, um, but only if you think we deserve it, though. And then, of course, if you've enjoyed the coverage so far this weekend, if you're new here or anything else, or if you haven't, I mean, there was a guy that said he's been following us since 2021 slash 2022 and he wasn't subscribed. So check that right quick.
uh, right now, real quick. Um, it's it, it just takes a second and it's free. So yeah. And I mean, if you want to directly support the channel, there's always the possibility to make a, a donation through the chat there as well. And it is greatly appreciated. So new tires for everyone, pretty much. Um, this counts as a pit stop. So if a car were to go on hearts and then on hearts, it would technically be enough to make it through. Um, but I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be enough to make it through two sets of hearts. It's gonna be pretty hard. Got him. So yeah, um, let's see. Looks like um, tire blankets are going on medium tires for Mercedes. Uh, I don't know what tires they are getting there. I think there may be medium tires going onto the car as well. Yeah, I'll check on that. As, oh, so softs apparently there for Red Bull for Sergio Perez. We'll see, we'll see. And I'm gonna blow my nose now. It's gonna be a stunning star joke at Stold. Yep, no surprises there. I know it's gonna rain, says someone there in the chat. Uh, no, it's not gonna rain, it's sunny. Sunny with a chance. Um. That's Gasly praying uh, like he usually does. Sure. Praying for some points. Um, is Logan getting ready to sit and give up on his old car back? Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, I'm sorry, I'm gonna need that car back. Um, I don't know if it's a problem or not. Yeah. I can see that conversation already. I'm so tired, it's 1am since Jordan. Just hold on. Five more minutes until the restart. Any free sites? Yeah, most sites on the internet are free. YouTube is one of those. Wait, who had soft tires? Who had? Um, Alonso had soft tires, Hulkenberg and Bottas, and then uh, Ocon, Gasly and Stroll, and Sargent. Right now, we have tire blankets on, so we don't know, but we'll see as soon as those are off. We'll change tires now. Um, as, as soon as the tire blankets are off, I'll be able to confirm that. Right now, we're just waiting. What's the difference between the medium and the soft tires? Well, for one, speed. Immediate speed. Uh, soft, tires, uh, soft tires are easier to get up to temperature and they have a little bit more grip, but they are also... Um, they also deteriorate faster, the soft tires. So, yeah, they wear faster, so they last uh, le less laps. And, yeah, that's uh, good for... For strategy. So seven minutes to go till the restart. Six minutes actually. Six minutes to go. Justin just posted a foot. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Ricardo's worse than Kimi when he went to quit after 2021. Yeah. Why did Ecuador violate international law? Did they just get mad and decide that they didn't care anymore? Honestly, I don't really know. Uh, Novoa's uh, government so far has been one of, um, you know, doing what it takes to put order in the street. They did something similar to Nayib Bukele to, to get the gangs under control when they were trying to take over the country a few months ago. 
um, and they brought peace to the streets. Uh, but you know, this I think is a bit excessive. The the vice president, the ex vice president, had been um, had been tried and found guilty. Uh, I don't know of what charge, but he was gonna go to prison. Uh, that's when he seeks refuge and. The Mexican government was already talking about uh, uh, an extraction, an extraction plan out from that embassy, and yeah, they stormed in and and took him. So, you know, that's that. That's interesting, and that gives him, um, that gives him ground for for declaring war, the Mexican government. So I don't know if I I don't think they're going to declare war, but they could. And and within their their right, you know. So yeah, enough about international uh, <laughs> crimes being committed by countries right now. Uh, let's go back to Formula One. We got four minutes to go. Why did Hamilton decide to leave Mercedes? Because the offer was just too juicy. What are you streaming from? My bedroom. Uh, actually, let me get on. Let me get on some more clothes. It's getting quite chilly. Yeah, the wind is 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 quite chilly right now. Quite Carlos Sainz. Mexico can't fight a cartel. Yeah, no, they can't. Uh, why don't you show your face anymore during streaming? Uh, because it's the middle of the night, my hair is a mess, my face is completely destroyed, and I would have to turn on pretty much every light here in order to not overexpose my camera. And I'm not going to do that because it's 2.30 a.m. So I'm just with minimum brightness here on my screen, a blue light filter on. <laughs> and, and yeah, sitting here in the middle, of, in, in the dark, in, in my room. Um, and yeah. That's that's pretty much the reason. I mean, I would have had to 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 take a shower before streaming if I were to to turn the camera on. And I mean, I want to take a shower. Probably gonna take one after the race is done, uh, before going back to bed. But yeah, haven't done so yet. And yeah, for for the night races, uh, I've decided I'm not gonna have the camera on. Uh, it's fine. I mean, we can deal with it. It's it's fine and then I'll, I'll turn it back on when we when we get back uh, remember guys i won't be here for china so yeah and then i'll see you in miami i'll see you in miami yeah there's a car meet in the same day at around the same times as the Miami Grand Prix Saturday events, like the the sprint and the qualifying. So uh, I'm going to see what I do. Uh, I may be able to sneak out after the sprint and get back before qualifying. And yeah, see if I can, if I can visit the car meet. Anyway. There's a, there's a car that I'm really excited for. It's a, one of the only FDRX7s that we have in the country, and it's rocking a, a sick white body kit. It's it's black. It's really good. Yeah. So they're gonna do a restart in a minute. A minute. So mediums for Ferrari there. That's Leclerc. Yeah, Leclerc's on the medium still. I think they're going to mostly stay on the tires that they were on the start since. I mean, there's no significant tire wear in three corners. So I wouldn't be surprised to see pretty much everyone stay on their compounds. You can't blame anyone at the start of the race, really. I mean, have you seen Prost and Senna? <laughs> what was it? The start of the Japanese Grand Prix in... Um, 89? Ah, I forgot the year. 
But you guys know who I'm, what I'm talking about. Eighty nine. There we go. Yeah, it was eighty nine. Is it gonna be a standing or rolling start? It's gonna be a standing start. Yeah, I got my ears right. That usually doesn't happen. I'm really bad with dates. Really bad with dates. Um, and not the like the the food, the dates with with, with time. Um, so cars are exiting the pits right now, doing their warm up lap. So it's a uh, Verstappen on the mediums, uh, Perez on the mediums, Norris on the mediums, Sainz on the mediums, um, Alonso on the softs. Yeah, pretty much everyone is is on the same tires as they were at the start of the race. Carlos Sainz took on a new, a used set of mediums, but a different one. So did Hamilton. So did Leclerc. Oh. Hamilton and Russell are opting for the hard compound tires. So Hamilton and yeah, both of the Mercedes are the only drivers apart from Ocon and Gasly starting on the the hard compound tires. That's interesting. Um that's Sargent also on the hearts. Um, Joe will be starting on the softs now. So will Yuki Tsunoda. Okay, so we got mediums, 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 softs, mediums, hard, mediums, hard, soft, soft, uh, softs, hard, hard, soft, medium, hard, soft. Got it? Got it. Good. And in case you didn't, I'm so sorry. This is very confusing. <laughs> but just know there are three different tire compounds being used through the grid. Just go back then if you if you don't feel like uh, like you had enough time to process that. <laughs> nope. Well, I'm sorry. Twenty three seconds for a pit stop here. Yeah, um what's he gonna say? Yeah, so some of the drivers have opted to switch the tires, um to switch the compound. Yeah, so the hard runners technically could go one stop to the end, uh but you know, let's see what degradation does and what um speed does because those hard tires may not be as quick as the rest of them um we're starting to see the cars lining up for the second start of the race damn the start is the most um intense part of every race weekend uh, and we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get another one here to to commentate on i mean so Stroll is at the back and Joe is in P16. Uh, no, okay, so it's just a timing sheet error there. A timing tower error. So it's a green flag at the back. That is a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5 red lights. And we are off once again. It's another clean getaway by Yuki Tsunoda trying to go a little wide. Oh, there's almost a little bit of contact between the two Alpines there at the back as Fernando Alonso goes around the outside. They're trying to defend from the McLaren while attacking the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz at the same time. Then it's Verstappen leading from Perez ahead of Norris. Then it's Kainz. Alonso Piastri. Then it's Leclerc making up a position already up into seventh place ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Then it's George Russell and Esteban Ocon down in P10. But as, um, down in 11th place now, ahead of Gasly, Magnus and Joe Sargent, and now Hulkenberg, who just got past the Williams of Logan there. Yuki Tsunoda is in P17, and Lance Stroll is in dead last place. A very, very bad start by Lance Stroll. Um, Yuki Tsunoda did not have the best of starts there. Tried to go uh, wide at the start, tried to go uh, and overtake some people, but he ended up being overtaken himself. 
So that's not that good. Uh, and right now we're looking at Alonso and the Sainz. They're battling it out for fourth. And also, uh, Lando Norris there in third place as they're pulling a little bit of a mini gap to the guys behind Piastri, Leclerc, Hamilton, and Russell. Yeah. Stroll, uh, okay. Oh, wow. Stroll up into 12th already. Uh, no. Okay. So there was definitely a timing tower error. Yeah, let me let me give you a rundown as soon as I get uh, the updated info. But from what I've seen right now, that is um, Joe and you battling out with Kevin Magnus and very very pointy and very fast. That Sauber is looking um, at the back there. Yeah, the Red Bulls are starting to get away, and Norris and Carlos Sainz are faddling, faddling, battling it out for third place in that last step of the podium already capped yes yes already 1.2 seconds down to third place from the red bulls ahead but it's closer at least between the the red bulls today which is welcome very welcome can science overtake lando uh, i mean if he gets close enough yes ocon radio you gave me a hit in the side. Let me know if it's okay. Will do. Yeah, no surprise there. The Alpines hitting each other. I mean, that's just a Thursday here. Uh, so we're stopping sitting from Perez ahead on Norris, Sainz, Alonso, Piastri, Leclerc, Hamilton, Tsunoda, and Russell rounding off the points. Then it's Ocon in P11, Bottas in 12th place, Lance Stroll in 13th, followed by Gasly, Magnus, and Joe. Hulkenberg and Sargent. When I said Joe was looking really quick, I meant it. He's holding right now the fastest lap of the race from P16 with those soft compound tires. Hamilton, Russell, Ocon, Gasly and Sargent are with those hards right now. Uh, as Verstappen and Perez are leading the pack. And yeah, Verstappen's already almost, yeah, he's already a full second ahead of his teammate. Okay, that's the RS gone. New fastest lap of the race by Max Verstappen. That didn't last long um, for Joe. But yeah. Uh, leading from Sergio Perez. Okay, the gap has shrunk a little bit there. Seven tenths of a second, six tenths of a second to his teammate. As we are looking at George Russell overtaking uh, and Bottas overtaking as well. Bottas getting past Ocon and into 11th place. And George Russell getting past the Toro Rosso of Yuki Tsunoda and up into P9. I can hear the Dutch anthem already. Dude, I haven't heard the Dutch anthem in such a long time. It's been a while since I've actually seen a podium. <laughs> Well, since Carlos Sainz, actually, so, yeah, since, since last race, uh, yeah, okay, uh, it was a good one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a big lock up there, uh, we're on board with Ocon at the start, yeah, I think that was both that, ooh, Ocon going, going kamikaze to, to defend that position there, very fitting since we're in Spain. Uh, since, we're spent, since, we're in, since we're in Japan, uh, Russell, they're locking up around the outside. Cost, uh, cost Bottas uh, a position there. Cost Bottas some, some time. And that's why Ocon had overtaken him uh, originally. Now Ocon's taking that position back. What is Alpine doing? Alpine things. Honestly, nothing out of the ordinary. Just crashing into each other. Ocon being Ocon. Car looks okay. Yeah, Gasly didn't hit him. You hit him, dude. You hit him. You hit Gasly. <laughs> My god. The RS is enabled. Yes, it is. Oh, that's Stroll getting past Ocon. Nice, clean move around the outside. Around the inside, sorry. Um, Into 12th place for the Canadian driver. How do you rate Joe? He's a decent driver. He's not had much luck, but he's decent. Hulkenberg is in the pits. What happened there to Hulkenberg? 2.9 seconds stop. That's way too early to stop. Oh, that's Checo going wide. Yeah. Going completely over the over the chicane there. Over the chicane, over the um, the, the apex. Um... Let's see, two seconds now almost splitting Verstappen and Perez. 
Hulkenberg is now 20 seconds behind on the hard compound tire. What was the logic behind that move? I don't know. Uh, but he's on the hearts now. And uh, yeah, I was talking about Joe. I think he's had um, he's been very unlucky so far. I mean, every single time he's in a good position, he crashes into something. Uh, so sorry, someone crashes into him, or or there's a mechanical failure of some sort. Um, sometimes he just screws it up as well. But yeah, that happens. Um, so yeah, I don't think he's had enough of a chance to prove himself. I think he's one of the. He's a he's a pretty good driver. He's, I mean, better than, than a lot of the other drivers that we have here, like, I don't know, Ricardo or Stroll. That's not a big, a high bar, but still. There's a lot of people that say he's the worst driver. He's not. He's not. They're a lot worse. Uh, so Bottas has stopped to defend, apparently, from Nico Hulkenberg. Lap 7 out of 53 right now. Four seconds stop for Bottas. Which, considering it's a F1, that would be kind of slow. But compared to Sauber, that's a pretty quick stop. Um, it was a single digit, so that's already good. Uh, we're used to triple digit stops, around 100, 120 seconds for Sauber. So four is, I would say, an improvement. Pretty improvement. Pretty decent improvement. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of hungry. Damn. So both us on the hearts. Oh, I have half of the Subway sandwich in the fridge. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh... A replay of that stop. So I mean, it's it's been four seconds, which is uh, which is a lot for any other teams. But once again, really good for for Sauber. W Subway sandwich, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda box box. Okay, so yeah, Yuki's in. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Stroll decides to come in shortly. I mean, they're in the in the soft, so they may be able to push a little more now. He's got a clean air up ahead, Stroll. Uh, he's got five seconds to Russell. That was a pretty damn fine stop for Sauber. Hell yeah. Get that Subway, man. No, dude, I'm I'm commentating right now, but it's uh it's good to know that I've got it. Carlos situation. The Carlos situation is uh, he's 1.2 seconds adrift from uh, Lando Norris right now. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, now on board with Magnussen going super close to Bottas on the exit of the pit lane. Uh, as the Sauber was exiting with a new set of hard tires. The Sauber went super close and, and yeah, made the move, made the overtake into turn one. Science team radio. Yeah, I see Lando is struggling a little bit. Okay. One second now between Lando Norris and uh, Carlos Sainz. Let's see if they can get that within the RS. Norris is just happy sitting in third position. Yeah, I wouldn't be so happy with a Carlos Sainz, a highly motivated Carlos Sainz behind me. Um, oh, damn. That was some, some defending, all right, by Gasly. For Sargent to, to slow down there, um, to ease off the throttle. That's the battle for 14th place. Rages on. Joe getting lapped soon? Uh, no, 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 he's not getting lapped soon. That is a big gap between those two drivers. Did Joe stop? Why is he seven seconds behind? Burst up in radio?
front wing update. It was oversteer, now it's slowly switching to understeer, and he got told, okay, as we thought, understood. And yeah, they were discussing setup. Uh, GP said, I told you so. So apparently, looks like there's something that has already been discussed internally that, yeah, we're not aware of. Uh, so Alonso's under threat right now of Piastri and Leclerc. Um, Piastri's within eight tenths of a second, Leclerc within three tenths of the McLaren. My god, that was close. Uh, yeah, Leclerc moved to overtake, uh, but it wasn't really quite enough there. Um, Alonso's got the, the upper the upper hand on the fact that this circuit has only one DRS straight. The steering is starting to feel a bit strange. Lots of vibrations, says George Russell. Uh, affirm, we are looking at the data. So, apparently some problems there for Russell with vibrations on the steering. Russell's in, sitting in P9 behind Lewis Hamilton and ahead of Stroll, who made up um, a few places there and is up into P10. How is Sainz getting replaced by Hamilton when he's clearly better than him and his current teammate? It's a big, it's a big mistake. It's a big question mark. I mean, I say this every single race weekend. Carlos Sainz should not have left McLaren. He should not have left McLaren. I mean, right now, he's on a team where he's been underappreciated since day one. Uh, Binotto, I remember when he was uh, in the car reveal for Ferrari uh, that season, he was pretty much hinted to be a seat warmer for Mick Schumacher. That didn't end up happening, but still, it was not a, a good way to start the partnership there. Uh, Hamilton Team Radio, you what? we are seeing high degradation on the medium runners. Okay, so medium seem to be having high deg issues as we're now looking at Sergeant once again having the door closed by the Alpine of uh, Gasly there. Um, was I saying? Oh, yeah, let oh, looks oh, yeah, that's much way, way, way quicker off uh, the final corner. Had some some rear wheel slippage there by. By Gasly, and that's full advantage for Sergeant. He takes that position and he's up into 13th place. But as I was saying, yeah, I mean, he's in a team that thought was never appreciated of him. Uh, Carlos Sainz, right now, they booted him off uh, for Lewis Hamilton there as well. Um, yeah, so he should have stayed in, in, in a team that where he was the number one driver, where he had a competent teammate. Uh, I mean, not that Leclerc isn't, but. McLaren went in a you know downward spiral as well after after that, but they're now back up. Uh, but the question is, if Carlos had stayed, were w would there be a, a a fight for wins for championships? We don't know, but I mean, one could assume that that may be the case. Anyway, Landon Norris is going to be coming in this lap. Uh, pit window for the medium runners is open from next lap technically, but. Uh, due to the high deck issues, some might be coming in right now. Landon Norris is one of those who has um, who has medium compound tires. Oh, that's a nice camera in the back of the front wing. Oh, -ho! looking straight into the barge boards there. Nice clean stop for Norris. 2.3 seconds. That's fantastic. Um, he exits behind Stroll and crucially ahead of Ocon. Top three prediction. I would say Verstappen Perez Sainz. I predicted Hamilton. Why did I predict Hamilton? Anyway. So far, top two are doing fine. Uh, Joe fourth? Pit oh god. Joe's come in again. Yeah, they're retiring the car. I oh no, they're they're not retiring the car. Uh, but they, I don't think, changed the tires there either. Yeah, <laughs> so we're practicing pit stops. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, he did come in for the fourth time. Well, for the fourth set of tires, third time. Um, 
I don't know if they even changed tires. I only saw fans on the car. Uh, yeah, not sure what they're playing at there at Sauber. But as I said, I mean, outside circumstances, playing against them once again. Piastri uh, has been told to pit. Looks like the soft tire is lasting more than the medium. That's Piastri coming in. Who do you think will get P2? Perez. I think Perez will get P2. So let's see Piastri's stop. Uh, clean one. Yep, clean one. 2.9. Good, good. Uh, that, uh, that's an Alpine being overtaken that we're all here for. Magnussen up into P9. And that's another Alpine being overtaken. That's Bottas up into 13th place. Piastri exits in 12th between Sargent and Bottas. Troll just came into the pits. Hamilton, Team Radio, ja shall I let George buy? Okay. Uh, offering to let him buy. That's that's new. Uh, Stroll has fitted the mediums despite the tire, the high tire wear. Uh, he's gone from the softs into the mediums. Okay, that's an interesting strategy. Only driver to pit for mediums so far. Everyone who has stopped has done so for hearts. Apart from Joe. Well, Joe's in the pits again. Yeah, he's retiring the car, I think. Swap positions. So Hamilton and Russell are going to switch positions. Russell's being led through right now into the chicane to get after Leclerc, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Why would you just let him go? Uh, Alonso's into the pits. So it's a clean stop for Alonso with a new set of mediums for him. Is he going to get undercut by Piastri? Is he not? Uh, oh god, it's going to be really close. Uh, he comes out ahead of Magnussen. But barely ahead of Magnussen as Piastri gets past Ocon. Joe, we have to retire the car. Gearbox problem. Just as I told you guys. The luck. The luck is not on his side. There is always a problem with Joe. Unfortunate. Unfortunate once again. Yeah. There's always a justification, but there's always a problem. That's, uh, that's not good. Looking right now at Yuki Tsunoda. Um, making it round the outside. Oh my god, that was close. Round the outside to, to, to pass the Alpine. Damn, that was poetic, dude. That was poetic. Uh... Goddamn shame for Joe. Yeah, it's a goddamn shame. Okay, uh, Piastri just got past Kevin Magnussen. Why let your teammate buy voluntarily? That's just fantastic. I'm asking myself the same question. Same question. Three cars down. Yeah, damn. That's true. We're three cars down, and uh, the Alpines are, are slipping down the pack. Gasly's two seconds behind Stroll right now, running in last place. Uh, has Socon stopped? He has not. And that's Williams uh, that we're looking at overtaking Ocon. Uh, shortly, I would assume Bottas will do the same uh, with the Sauber. Sauber's got some decent pace today. I mean, it, it looks like a pointy, a nimble car. Looks like a nimble car that Sauber today. That's Yuki Tsunoda also joining the battle there. Stroll getting past Nico Hulkenberg signs. Being told to box by Ferrari from third place right now. As he comes out of turn 16 into the third sector. Did Ricardo DNF? Yes, of course he did. 
he took out Albon with him as well. Um, let's see, Yuki trying to go around the outside. Oh, a bit of a, a bit of a flick of the wrist by um by the Sauber there. Perez having to pit as well. Perez and Sainz both, uh, yeah, one defending from each other. From the other. Verstappen is miles ahead. He is now due to P2 and P3 stopping. Let's see, Perez. Nice stop. Onto the mediums, and so is Leclerc. 2.3 seconds stop for Sainz, 2.1 for Perez. They both come out ahead of Alonso. And Alonso is ahead of Piastri by two and a half seconds right now. Oh, that's the Sauber overtaking Ocon. Nice. It's always good to see a car overtaking Ocon. <laughs> Um, so Yuki Tsunoda is, uh, is who we're on board with. Do you think Sainz will overtake Perez? It looks to be pretty tough. I mean, the Red Bulls are just on another league and Perez seems to be on pace today. Uh, so we, even though it's not impossible, it seems pretty hard. I love how no one gets uh, no one gets mad when I <laughs> when I joke on Alpine. Even if I joke on any other driver, people get mad and and with reason. Um, that's why I don't do it because I don't think it's 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 warranted either. But uh, with Alpine, <laughs> no one really cares, and it's fantastic. Okay, first up in pits. Um, as we're now looking at Norris and Hamilton, uh, Norris holds the fastest lap so far. Let's see the RS open for, oh, let's see, Verstappen comes out behind Russell. And that's round the outside into one and two for Norris as he makes that move and is up into P4. Unfortunately, Ocon's only good at defending from teammates. Good at defending? No, that's a... Uh... He's not good at defending from teammates. He's very dangerous while defending from teammates. And that's Yuki Tsunoda past Okon. Nice. Um, Yuki up into 13th place. So we're looking at uh, Ricardo right now. A stroll gets past Okon. Nice. Uh, every single time someone gets up, uh, overtaken, it's a 50% chance it's Ocon. As we're now looking at, uh, that's going round side by side, uh, almost, yeah, almost side by side between Checo and Hamilton there for, um, that is P5. Effectively now, Norris, I think, may be ahead of Checo. Yes. Yes, Norris is ahead of Sergio Perez right now. Oof, nice. Hamilton concedes that position, uh, pushed him into, into backing off their Perez. Hamilton understood that was in his battle and, and let him let him buy a little bit easier than it would have maybe burst happen in 2021. Um, but I mean, it made sense. It made a lot of sense. Landon Norris again past Russell round the inside. Don't know if you can hear the ambulance at the back. Do, 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 do. Leclerc hasn't stopped yet. Just reminding you guys that. How is your health, by the way? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, that's uh, Bottas overtaking Logan Sargent. Up into 11th for Bottas. On the sober as Nico Hulkenberg overtakes Esteban Ocon. Nice. And now there's no one left to overtake Ocon. That's a... Uh... That's really sad. That's really sad. Ocon's lost a position uh, every lap for the past, I don't know, six or seven laps. And yeah, now the only guy behind is Gasly, who's 28 seconds behind. Ocon should stop now. You know, he, he hadn't. Um, yeah. Damn. Oh, so they're, 
they're like a stop behind the rest of the pack. That's insane. Uh, let's see, Checo right now looking to overtake Russell. Is he gonna go round the outside, round the inside? He decides to go. He makes the move down 130R. And yeah, nice. Into the chicane. That's Perez up into fourth place. Norris is up into effective second position right now, holding the fastest lap of the race and closing in on Max Verstappen. Ghastly cruise control. Yes, yes. Is uh, respecting the, the speed limit. Hamilton radio. Tires are dropping. Front right is dead. And remember, Hamilton hasn't yet made his uh, his first scheduled stop. Uh, everyone's switched tires from the pits, but yeah. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda looks to be making a move around the outside of the Williams, but doesn't have enough pace and then enough speed to make that happen. Sergeant's right now holding on to the 12th place, but for how long will he be able to? Sergeant, remember also hasn't stopped so the hard tires are struggling right now those who have not yet made their stop so that is um that is russell that is hamilton that is sergeant and that is Socon. yeah so round the outside goes leclerc on oh that signs on hamilton round the outside it goes signs on hamilton up into sixth place for the spanish driver Yeah, so Verstappen's getting away from Norris. Um, that was too good to be true. <laughs> we're in lap 20 of 53. So we're getting close to halfway there. An hour has elapsed. Kevin Train again. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It wouldn't make much sense because uh, it's a different situation right now. It wouldn't make much sense, no. Yuki Tsunoda, we're looking at right now P13. Ocon finally pits. Yeah, is he going to pit or is he going to retire? Let's see. Oh, no, he pitted. I mean, but it's as if he retired because he comes out uh, in P16. Let's see, Max Verstappen um, looks to be getting closer and closer to Leclerc, already making up almost a full pit stop. Um, yeah, Leclerc is on 18 lap old medium tires, the C2s, while Verstappen is on 3 lap old C2s. DRS is open for the Dutch driver, the three time world champion, as he goes round the inside, outside into turn one, makes it. Gets the move done. And it's up into P1. As we're now looking at uh, Carlos Sainz getting, looking to get past the other Mercedes. This time George Russell, who's on P5. Change this strategy. Uh, Hamilton says, copy Luis. Yeah, we're just waiting for the window to clear. Yeah, so Hamilton's not happy with what he's got right now. He's in seventh place, uh, being left out long, long on the heart. I think uh, they were banking on the one stop. That's uh, what I've been saying, and I don't think it's it's the move to go. Honestly, right now, from what we've seen right now, it's um, it's gonna be tough to re-overtake. Sorry. It's not tough to re-overtake around this track. There's a lot of good spots. So um, staying out may not give you the advantage that you hope for. As Carlos Sainz is up into fifth place and is past George Russell. Uh, 
a one stop would be great if um would not be losing too much time now yeah i mean they are they can lose up to like 23 seconds pretty much um which is the estimated pit stop time um but yeah doesn't really look like uh like it's a good move right now as hamilton is under threat by alonso alonso gets past the mercedes into turn one nice move Yeah, the one stopper seems to be a bit of a compromise strategy this race. Uh leaves them very vulnerable. Let's see if it pays off. Right now they don't seem to be switching strategies, but if they switch right now, I think it would be too late. Um everyone's overtaken them. Russell's in P6, Hamilton's in P8. If they stop now for a two stop, that would put them way out of position. So I mean I would say just, you know, hold on. And try and make it work. But I mean, there's no tread left on those hard tires. So it's already kind of hard. It's already pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> nice. The hard tires. Um, wasn't, wasn't on purpose. I swear, guys. But, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one to ride out. Okay, Esteban, we need to push now. Please push now. I am pushing. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, <laughs> so a nice team radio there. As we saw, uh, Perez overtake Lando Norris. So that's effective second place being taken away from the McLaren driver by Sergio Perez's Red Bull. Russell comes into the pits as Alonso gets the overtake done. Let's see, at least one of them looks like it's going to be... Yeah, they're going to be going on to another set of hearts. Uh, they're going to see if they can wait it out to the end. But if something were to happen, they can switch on to a, a, soft tires, a soft set of tires or a medium for the last few laps. Russell, Magnussen, Bota, Sargent, Tsunoda and Stroll all come into the pits. Russell's going to have to push those tires for another, oof, a lot of laps. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be another 25, 26 laps for those tires. Oh my God, what a, what a busy pit exit there. Uh, Stroll manages to keep that position. Ocon's up into 12th right there as he, as, as he takes full advantage of everyone stopping ahead of him. Uh, Tsunoda comes out in 11th, then it's Ocon, Stroll, Magnus, and Bottas, and Sargent. Uh, Ocon's gonna get re taken by everyone pretty shortly, I assume. Yes, Stroll's already passed Ocon. Okay, our entertainment is back. W Japanese Grand Prix. It was insane. I want to see what happened there in the pits, because it must have been complete mayhem. As we're now looking at Oscar Piastri. Uh, attacking box box yeah Hamilton attacking uh, Hamilton who's got absolutely no way to defend from that move he comes into the pits Piastri is up into seventh place three and a half seconds behind Alonso right now um, and Carlos Sainz is 4.2 seconds behind Norris for that third spot Two point six second stop. It's a good stop. Uh, they come in. Yeah, Hamilton fits a set of hearts. Let's see what happened there in the pits. Damn. Oof. Oh my god, that was insane. Yeah, Lance Stroll there had to find a way. I I think that was a bit of an unsafe release there. Side by side with the Haas on the pit exit. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda with a... Yeah, this is where a tenth or, or two of a second in a stop is, uh, is, is great. Yeah, stroll incident for a pit lane infringement has been noted. I am sure that's pretty much an unsafe release, but let's see what the stewards decide there. I mean, he's Canadian, kind of British, so he may be off without a penalty, you know? How the FIA doesn't 
penalize British drivers, perhaps? That 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 may play a part. Um So Leclerc still holding on to those medium tires. 29 laps since St. Landon Norris chasing uh, Carlos Sainz, sorry, chasing Landon Norris, uh, striking distance in one lap, it says. Uh, but the gap is three and a half seconds. So is Land uh, Carlos Sainz all really that much faster than Lando? Leclerc's one stop might work. Yeah, looks like he's uh, holding on to those tires better than than Mercedes. Uh, Russell now holds the fastest lap of the race. I don't think that's uh, something that they want to see, honestly, having to make those tires last. Uh, it means the drivers are pushing. Uh, oh, I missed uh, Magnussen overtaking Ocon. Uh, Bottas is going to overtake Ocon right now. Uh, pretty shortly and Stroll and Tsunoda are battling it out yeah Bottas overtakes Ocon nice uh Stroll and Tsunoda are battling it out four tenths of a second between the two it's a it's a nice fight there at the back end of the midfield Sargent now uh looks like is gonna be overtaking Ocon We need to, to make a, a knock on overtake counter. <laughs> so that's Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc. Leclerc, yeah, keeping Perez behind right now. Hamilton Radio, how, mu how did I lose so much time? Just traffic and degradation, Hamilton gets told. Yeah, he's six. 0.7 seconds behind Russell there, uh, Hamilton, as we're now looking at Leclerc, who's defending from Sergio Perez by the gap is half a second there um, for, well, I mean, there's not a, it's not for effective second place, it's for real second place, oh, that's Leclerc going wide, yeah, those tires are letting go, and that's uh, probably going to be a position for Norris as well. Um, yeah, no grip whatsoever for Charles. Leclerc! Leclerc! Charles Leclerc! Norris is in P4 right now, on the hard compound tire, pushing really hard. Norris in radio. Oh! Lando, we are boxing this lap, and he says, why so early? Yeah. I mean, Leclerc hasn't even stopped, but I, I guess it's because of traffic or something. I wouldn't be surprised if Leclerc stops as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, Leclerc comes in. So does Norris. So they're both going to be fighting it out there in the pits. Let's see who comes out ahead. Do, 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 do. Has Red Bull stopped? Yes, they have. They've come from the mediums to the medium, so they're going to have to do an extra stop there before the end of the race. Um, Leclerc, Leclerc has done a two tenths of a second faster stop, and that is who, who's slotting there in the middle. That is Fernando. No, that is, uh, <laughs> that is George Russell. That is George Russell slotting there in between Leclerc and Norris. Damn. Well, George back in the game. Alonso fourth, yes, yes, Alonso fourth. As weird as it is to see, it's it's happening, guys. Yeah, I th I don't think uh, Norris should have stopped. It's way too early. And so I think this is the last stop for all of those. Uh, yeah. That may be, yeah, that is uh, the last stop for the three of them. So they're going to be racing it out there. That is a real battle for what seems like a P5? Yeah. I mean, Piastri still has to stop. Alonso still has to stop. 
Okay, so this is the 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 one stop paying off for Russell. He's uh, in contention now, battling it out with those guys who were uh, in the podium places uh, in the podium fight. But those who will be behind when they stop, I'm talking Sainz, I'm talking Alonso, uh, are gonna be are gonna be coming back. Are gonna be coming back for their places. Uh, towards the end of the race, as we are looking at, oh my god, an overtake by Lando Norris on George Russell there. Russell dropping down to 8th. Nico feeling safe in 10th. Um, yeah, pretty safe. Let's see, Stroll is still super close to Tsunoda. Let me check on Hulkenberg's strategy so far. Oh no, Hulkenberg has to stop again. Yeah, no, no, he's not staying there. So yeah, this race is going to be a race of attrition uh, from now on. Let's see what uh, they can do, what, what those guys who stopped right now can do with those tires, if they can make them last to the end, or if they will succumb to the ghost of tire degradation. They're going to have to stop, uh, they're going to have to push for a for, for long, long stint. Coke's tires are thin as fuck, yeah. Uh, he's on 22 lap old hearts. Alonso and Piastri are on 15 lap old tires, 16 for Piastri, 15 for Alonso. And yeah, those are the oldest uh, tires of the grid. Let's look at, uh, yeah, we're on board right now with Lance Stroll and Yuki Tsunoda. That battle is still raging on. Um, it's still, well, actually not raging on. It's still, it's pretty tame still. <laughs> um, let's see if the RS for Stroll is enough for an overtake here. I don't think it is. It's a bit too far back. Yeah, the Mercedes power unit is a, a bit more powerful there in the straight line, but I don't think it's enough to make the move, at least not right now. Um, Stroll's gonna have to do something that is not used to doing and, you know, race for that position uh, against Yuki Tsunoda, which is uh, another driver other than himself uh, that holds a position that Stroll wants. So yeah, uh, he's not gonna get blue flagged, he's gonna have to overtake on track. It's a, it's a real challenge, it's a real challenge, but let's see what happens. Science needs to stop soonish. Going to come out about three seconds behind Russell as things stand. Yeah, Science and Alonso are, I think, gonna push for three or four more laps, but I wouldn't uh, say any more than that. And then I would assume they would come in for a set of hearts each and push to the end. Oh my god, that's the Sauber of Bottas menacingly looking behind the house of Kevin Magnussen. Verstappen 11 seconds ahead of his teammate, that's insane. Troll is shortening position to Hulk. Uh, once Yuki gets 10, Troll should be overtaking him. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, looking at the Sauber now, once again, the nimble Sauber, the clear team radio, who doesn't need to stop in front? Everyone in front needs to stop again, yes. Everyone in front needs to stop again. So we may have Leclerc leading the race for a few more laps, but how long will that last? It's up for debate. Why would they replace Carlos and exist Ferrari sure is something. I mean they've got um they've got a magnet 
to not winning. <laughs> that is insane. Insane. Wow, you can see the dirty air causing turbulence uh, behind the Haas in the camera feed. Either that or that's uh, exhaust fumes. Could be either or. Could be exhaust fumes making a big wake behind the wheel, the, the wing. What lap is it? It's lap 31 of 53. And there's not much going on as we're looking at Piastri locking up there from 5th place. It's a bit of a quiet one, this part at least right now. We're waiting for people to stop. Um, the top 5 all have to make their final stop. What happened to Joe? He had to retire the car due to a gearbox problem. My fantasy team is cooked, says Sky and Lee. Damn. F's in the chat. Oh my god. Did I... I think I forgot to switch out Ricardo. Uh, I, I mean, the thing is I didn't have anyone to switch him out for. Um, It's like a dead spot because of uh, because I ran out of money. And I had to, like, put in the cheapest driver that I could. And I want to get rid of him, but I cannot <laughs> choose anyone else. I've got uh, Verstappen, Alonso, and Ricardo, and then Ferrari, Haas, and Williams. So that's uh, that's my budget. Uh, I'm doing quite good, honestly, on the Fantasy League. My predictions have been decently spot on. Uh, I've called one safety car, and there's technically been none. Well, yeah, technically, I think there's been one because it was deployed for the restart after the red flag, so. Yeah, most places game for a driver. I have put four to six, and as of now, yeah, I mean, that's that's the range. Uh, four places, five for Magnussen, four for Stroll, four for Sargent. So, so far, I'm in it for, uh, for a good haul. Real, I can't get Joe off my team. I mean, Joe is better than Ricardo, though. Bottas trying to overtake round the outside. Kevin Magnussen's a hard one to overtake, always has been. He stays behind us of now. You think Carlos will pit earlier or wait uh, for Max and Checo to stop? I mean, he's not really fighting for position, so he's on his own strategy. He'll stop as soon as the team considers it. Um, but historically, Verstappen and Perez stop quite late. Um, mostly Verstappen. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the Ferrari call him uh, being called into the pits early. 4 to P8 is very tight. Yes, it is. Piastri comes into the pits. Yeah, lots of turbulence down the back straight. My helmet is flying off my head, Russell says. Piastri is the first of the top five to make their stop. He's fitting a set of hearts, a fresh set of hearts, and it's going to be able to push to the end of the race. I think Alonso is going to be coming in quite... Um... Quite shortly. Um, what's up with Ricardo and Albon? They they crashed. I mean, Ricardo crashed crashed into Albon, and they're both out of the race. Red Bull is really fast. Oh my god! Yes, yes, it is. Oh my! Yuki trying to get past, but there's just not a spot there. Uh, Hulkenberg's not giving him any leeway. Oh my god! Nice defending there from the Haas. Pit lane infringement for Stroll under investigation. Yeah, called it. Uh, so round the outside goes uh, goes the Al the Ah uh, Toro Rosso Alpha Terry almost set of Yuki Tsunoda around the outside of the Hulkenberg, and uh, Lance Stroll is up next. Perez has been called in. Perez has boxed. Uh, let's see if Alonso comes in as well. Sainz is staying out. Oh, Gasly's coming. Alonso's coming in as well, yeah. Nice stop for Perez. 
Let's see Aston Martin now. Nice stop as well. 2.4 seconds stop for Alonso, 2.1 for Perez. They are coming out ahead of Piastri, Alonso. Close though. It is close. It is closer than I guess he would like. Uh, Verstappen and Sainz are the only two drivers that have yet to make their final stops. Uh, well, alongside, uh, who's that? No, Perez has just stopped. Bottas radio? Weaving on the straight. Oh, yeah. That's definitely weaving for Magnussen. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's definitely weaving on the straight. Four direction changes. Ocon into the pits. Verstappen, box, box, box. Verstappen's been called in. Perez is right now behind Lando Norris, uh, but a much fresher rubber. Oh, no further action for Stroll. Okay, so his uh, half British citizenship did help. Did help. Um, let's see. Carlos Sainz is now leading this race, as is the only one not to have pitted um, from the top five right now. Checo going round the inside into turn one to make it past the McLaren and up into fourth place. Why is Max out? He is not out. He is in P2 right now uh, after having just made a pit stop. Is that a science uh, going pretty slow? No, he's going at a reasonable speed. It's just a camera angle. Draw into the pits. So has Sergeant. Let's box soon. I think I'm going to lose time here. Carlos Sainz says. What? They said new mediums. How are you going to fit on new mediums? You're going to have to stop again if you fit new mediums. <laughs> what? Yeah, Sainz is just losing time out there. I don't think he's going to get the podium if he doesn't stop this lap. Let's see Sergio Perez round the inside once again. New fastest lap and now ahead of Leclerc right behind his teammate up into second place once more. Effective second place, not not nominal second place. Yeah, Carlos is just not able to make the corners anymore. He has to come in. Science needs to come in. Needs to come in. I mean, what tires is he going to fit? Science box box. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't fit the hearts, what is he going to go for? Softs? He cannot put on mediums again because he's going to have to stop again. He cannot go from mediums to mediums to mediums to mediums. Let's see, Sainz finally making a merciful stop. As the only driver so far being lapped is Gasly, and well, soon we're gonna see Verstappen overtake Ocon. <laughs> okay. It's a decent stop for Ferrari, 2.9. Pretty good, hey, that's pretty good. 
So Sainz comes out behind Hamilton. And Alonso's holding on to that position ahead of Piastri, but for how long? That is the question. Half a second splits the two. Um, it was a bad move for Alonso to come in a lap later. It it shrunk the gap by like two seconds. Um, yeah, bad move, unfortunately. The undercut worked for, for Piastri, worked wonderfully. So Sainz comes out in P7, yeah, behind Hamilton, behind Brussels, and now I think everyone's made their final stops. Yes, everyone's made their final stop. So this is going to be it to the end, guys. Let's see, Carlos with newer rubber. He is coming up on Lewis Hamilton right now. Three tenths of a second splits them. Two tenths. Yeah, so Carlos waits out for the DRS, goes through the chicane into turn 18. And Russell's coming in. Okay. Let's see what happens with Russell. Um, we should get a camera in the pits. Come on. There we go. New tires. Mediums. Used mediums for Russell. Okay, sure. Comes out behind Piastri, but crucially ahead of Tsunoda. There's a big gap between himself and Piastri, and Tsunoda as well. I mean, Mercedes are right now, yeah, uh, 11 seconds behind Piastri. Piastri, who, I need to remind you, is on new hard tires, pretty much uh, two laps old. So let's see, I mean... What can Russell do? I think it's going to be pretty tough. I don't think he's going to be making any moves, but it's better than being overtaken on track. I mean, perhaps it's a bit more, you know, it's less humiliating. Uh, Landon Norris on board right now. Ooh, losing the rear a little bit. Lap 39 of 53. Yes, crash indeed. Our rest, just in case, is what you're watching this. Get well soon. We miss you. Yes, we do indeed. Get well soon, brother. So wait, tens of a second right now. The gap between Alonso and Piastri. Still no overtake happening yet. Hamilton, wish should we extend or not? Uh, let us know how the tires are. Yeah, the tires are still good. Hamilton gets told. So he is, uh, he's got the option to come in, same as his teammate. Now the question is, is he going to take it? Two seconds a lap slower than Alonso and Piastri that Mercedes is running right now. Looking at the battle for fourth right now, it is uh, Lando Norris and um, Lewis Hamilton right there. Uh, no, uh, Lando Norris and... Uh... Oh, no, it's just Lando Norris. There's no one close. I don't know why it said battle there for, for fourth. It's just we're looking at, yeah. Piastri, though, is, is still close to Alonso. Uh, let's see if uh, he can make something happen there or... Or if it's just, you know, a classic Alonso move that we're going to see of, of Piastri endlessly chasing to the checkered flag. Hamilton comes in. Box, box. Okay. So the one stop didn't work. And now, yeah, the Mercedes boys are going to be suffering a bit from it. Thank you. 
Yeah, uh, not a, an extremely quick stop, but not a slow one either. I mean, Sauber were still slower. 3.3 second stop there for Lewis Hamilton as he fits on a used set of medium tires, same as his teammate. One lap old mediums, but still, they're technically not new. It's a, it's a big gap. It's a big gap to the guys ahead to Piastri to Alonso. But I think they were not going to be able to make it on those hearts to the end. How many laps? We have 13 laps to go. Norris gets past Gasly. Bottas and Magnussen are still battling it out there. They're coming into the second sector right now. Bro, I bet some men last shorter than these Ferrari pit stops. We've all had that one time, dude. We've all had that one time. Uh, signs. Am I in a race here or what? Yes, we are for a podium. So signs uh, get stalled. Yeah, okay. So overtake as many cars as you can, uh, including Norris, if possible. And yeah, I mean, his teammate is up there as well. So Norris and Leclerc have uh, stopped 14 laps ago with a 10 lap younger tires for, for Carlos Sainz. Yeah, so a bit sticky those tires on the Mercedes coming out. Let's go, Logan. Hell yeah, P15, brother. I'm going to watch paint dry. Good luck, Robert. Let us know how it went. Yeah, it's not much going on, is it? Uh, we're looking at Perez overtaking Gokon right now. Hamilton Radio, what's the gap ahead? We've lost even more time. Yeah, looks like we lost a bit of time in the lap. Yeah. Uh, Ocon gets overtaken by Perez. So lap 42 out of 53 right now. Oh, below flag on the second sector. Oh, Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant has stopped, apparently. Are we going to get a safety car? What happened there? Ocon overtakes Sergeant. Damn, that's a sight. Oh, so he's reversing onto the track right now. It's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Okay, go. Oof, damn. That's Alonso, that's Piastri. Yeah, that's uh, green flags now, uh, probably. Yeah, but that was, uh, I would say, an unsafe rejoin by, by Logan Sargent. Let's see if he comes in right now. I think he may retire the car, or he's definitely coming in for a stop. I mean, the, the guys are preparing. Let's see what actually happened here. Oof. Yeah, no. He he set up the corner really badly. He went into the um, into the into the chicane, into the chicane, into the corner, uh, way too hard. Hit the apex. Uh, couldn't get the car slowed down. He just understeered straight into the gravel, into turn nine. So, yeah, um, unfortunate. Another mistake for Sergeant there. It was his fault. Yeah, of course it was. Science is within the RS of Norris. Damn. Damn. He's a second a lap closer. So new softs for Sergeant. As he's going to put in some quality laps now. 10 laps to go.
Ooh, a bit of a lock up there. A bit of a lock up there for Norris. Um, as he is closer to being overtaken by Carlos Sainz. Five tenths of a second splits the two. As they go into the third sector right now. A big slipstream. Through the back straight, through 130R. How much I want to bet Max is going to win? Uh, nothing. I mean, the odds are going to be really bad. Let's see Carlos Sainz with the RS gets the move down round the inside into turn one. Feel bad for the mechanics and engineers of Williams. They will be shitting their pants for the Chinese Grand Prix to fix those cars. Yeah, the floor on the on the on the Williams. I wouldn't be surprised if it's pretty fucked right now. Oh my. Stream has stopped. Come on, catch up. Yeah, Norris locking up there into 11. Carlos Sainz gets through. Let's see if we're going to see any team orders here within Ferrari, as they're both getting closer to overtaking Gokon. Everyone has to overtake Gokon once for it to be a Formula 1 race, of course. If you've enjoyed the stream so far, guys, make sure to drop a like. One more to go for the podium, Carlos Sainz gets told. Hell yeah. Go Carlitos. Do not lose time with signs. Okay, so Leclerc's uh, being told to make it easy on his teammate then, uh, as they both overtake Ocon. I don't know what for I was keeping, it was thinking keeping Leclerc out so long on those mediums. I mean, they were probably hoping on a safety car and trying to make that one stop work. It's still, it's pretty good. I mean, Carl, uh, Leclerc wasn't in a, in a, in an excellent position from the start of this race. Um, yeah. Let's see, lap 45 or 53. Yeah, so I mean, Leclerc was starting the race in eighth place. Right now he's looking at a P4 finish. I don't think it was too bad. Yastri is still behind alone, so yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to get past. I mean, if he hasn't already. Top 5 ain't pitting. Oh, no one is pitting. Yeah, no, no, no more schedule stops are, are expected. Russell, though, catching up to Piastri and Alonso. A little bit there. Around. Half a second a lap, I mean, it's one thing again to, to get close and another to overtake, but Stroll gets past Bottas as Leclerc gives that position to Carlos Sainz as he moves up into the podium. Remember, Carlos Sainz, I mean, he's actually fighting for, for, for a championship. Uh, he could be fighting for a championship if you weren't for, for the fact that he had appendicitis, because right now he is... Missing a race and seven points behind his teammate. Not not counting the results of this race, of course. So yeah, Carlos Sainz has been just on it this season. In my opinion, the better Ferrari driver, no doubt. He's fighting for a fat contract next season. Hell yeah. Let's hope that he gets one. And I'm not talking about uh, the fat Porsche in, in the WEC. I'm talking about Formula One. 
Come on. Just a few laps remaining. Six. <laughs> Removing the appendix really works for reducing weight. Yeah, weight reduction. Two overtakes waiting to happen there. That's uh, Hulkenberg on, Ke on Valtteri Bottas. Hulkenberg makes it up into 13th. And then it's Magnussen and Stroll there. Magnussen and Stroll are battling it out. Stroll on soft compound tires. Pretty old softs. I don't know what they were thinking fitting those tires on, but apparently they're working as Stroll gets up into 11th place. Uh, five laps to go. No, oh, six. Six laps to go. Let's see Russell right now. Uh, why are we not seeing Russell right now? Alonso and Piastri are closer than ever. Um, and yeah, one that's joining pretty shortly is going to be Russell. Uh, Hamilton's still five seconds adrift, but um, he could be doing so by the end of the race. I think if a miracle doesn't happen for others, Max is winning. Oh, yeah, of course. They don't bother to show Max ever. Yeah, I mean, what is it to show? So another will take home a point again. Well done. Yeah, hell yeah. If this if this uh, works out for him, fantastic. Pretty comfortable in P10 right now. Eight seconds almost ahead of Stroll. So he should have it in the bag. Now looking at the trio of Alonso, Piastri and Russell. They are coming close to Gasly now. This could shake things up. I mean, depends on how easy it is to overtake um, to overtake the, the lapped cars. And perhaps they will be overtaking Gokon before the end of the race. Oh, Grash with a donation. Thank you so much. It's unbelievable how bad our speed is on the straight, man. It's like a different category, Stroll says. Damn. Uh, Grash, thank you so much for your donation, dude. Go, Max. Win this one for RS. Hell yeah. RS, we send you a very big, warm, and juicy hug uh, from here, everyone, at the Racing Statistics channel. Hope you pull through, buddy. Piastri might catch Alonso. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, but Russell might catch Piastri, actually. Um, they're coming close to Gasly now. That will soon arrest and Viva Max is a wax manus. Member for 12 months. Thank you so much. Maybe Alonso's waiting to overtake uh, Gasly strategically to perhaps catch the RS. Mayhaps, per maybe. Stroll, though, catching up a second a lap to Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki on, ooh, 25 lap old hard tires. Yeah, Stroll is catching up and catching up fast. It may not be a done deal for Yuki that place there. Hulkenberg on Magnussen. Jose, RS, get well soon, buddy. This one's for you. Thank you so much, Jose. And yes, this one is definitely for him. 49 out of 53 laps. Three laps remain. Four laps remaining. Um, we're getting close to the end. And let's see. Let's see what we end up with here at the end of this race. 
pretty chilly right now here. It's 18 degrees, but the wind is pretty cold. Okay, so Rosso is looks to be attacking Piastri more than Piastri seems to be attacking Alonso. Now Rosso through 16. Oh my god, turns it around the inside. Oh my god. Are they going to have some contact? Oh god, that was so close. Into 18. Yeah, DRS open. Russell's now attacking with all he's got. Oh my god, the defending from Piastri. Paula, this is for your rest. This one's for you. Thank you so much, Paula. And yes, this one is for him. Three laps to go. This is an exciting end to the race. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> Russell, <laughs> Russell into the wall. No, but he won't go into the wall because Carlos Sainz is not winning. Um, but if Carlos Sainz were winning, I mean, we, we all know what Russell is like pushing in the last few laps of a race. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up in the gravel somehow. Yanto, giddy up, go burst up and go for RS, giddy up, go, go. Thank you so much, Yanto, for your donation. It is greatly appreciated. Elwax Manus as well. Thank you, Racing Statistics and Ryan Hugs for RS. Uh, Russell has been noted for forcing another driver off the track. Thank you so much, everyone, for your donations. Yanto, for your first donation and then for your. Uh... Thank you, Waxmanus, as well. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Jose Martinez, of course, as well. Um, yeah, thank you all, guys. Piastri Radio, he didn't give me anywhere to go in the chicane. I had to cut. Yes, we all saw that. We all saw that. Okay, so Pierre Gasly is staying out of the way. Behind Russell now, as Alonso has a little bit of free, free air behind them. I mean, uh, the battle between Piastri and Russell has actually gave him a little bit of breathing room. 1.2 seconds the gap now between Piastri and Alonso. Um, he's lost the RS. And yeah, I mean, the tactical overtake of Gasly definitely played a part. So it's a hand grenade. Yes, yes, he is. So either he's in front, he, by, by the end of the race, either he's in front of Piastri or he's in the wall. There's no middle ground. Who's your driver of the day? RS is my driver of the day. Um, no, but other than, other than that, um, it's, it's a toughie. It's a tough one for sure. Honestly, I would say perhaps Yuki. Not a not a lot of standout performances. Bottas was was doing pretty good, but he ended up only ahead of the Alpines. So it's yeah, not much to say. But yeah, I would say perhaps Tsunoda. Oh, so Alonso slowed down there to allow Piastri within the RS again, enable to, you know, enable in order to uh, be able for Piastri to defend from Russell. My God, that was a complicated sentence, more than it should have. <laughs> so Alonso, let me let me go again. Alonso slowed down a little bit to give uh, Piastri the RS in order for him to be able to defend from Russell. So it's. Two laps to go, but Stappen just started the final lap, so one lap to go. One and a half laps for Alonso, Russell, and Piastri there. Oh, Crash gifted five subs. Thank you, bro. Very generous of you. Uh, Stroll tops to P12, really? 
Oh, yeah, he does. Stroll drops to P12 behind Hulkenberg. Okay. Within the RS, everyone right now. Uh, that's P6, P7, and P8. Oh, a bit weird corner for, for Piastri. He took the chicane all wrong. The RS open. I think that's going to leave the door open for George Russell to make the move around the inside. And I think that's enough. Yes. That's enough for Russell. That was a very, very bad chicane uh, set up for, for Piastri there. And now Russell's got a lap to get the move done on Alonso. 1.2 seconds to gap between those two, and now Alonso's gonna book it. Yeah, so Alonso's opening the gap to Russell by around a tenth a minute sector. So Max Verstappen wins again, of course. Uh, okay, so that's Yuki Tsunoda in P10. That's closed. P11 for Hulkenberg. Uh, P12 for Stroll. That's Perez coming home in second place for a 1-2 for Red Bull. Verstappen has the fastest lap of the race, of course. Then Carlos Sainz <laughs> completes the podium. Hell yeah, another podium for Carlos Sainz. Carl, uh, then it's Charles Leclerc. Lando Norris in P5, P6 will be for... So let's see, it's not over until it's over, but Ocon comes home in P15. That's a secure, good hollow points for Ocon. Uh, then, yes, Alonso, uh, Russell, Piastri, and Hamilton come across the line right now to close the points. And that is, well, it for today. So Perez wins ahead of Verstappen uh, wow. Verstappen wins ahead of Perez ahead of Sainz Leclerc Norris Alonso Russell Piastri Hamilton and Tsunoda closes out the points this one's for RS um, if you're hearing buddy I hope you have a, a, a quick recovery and we will wait for you here uh, soon and yeah I thank you all for watching guys thank you so much for sticking around if you've enjoyed the race if you've enjoyed the coverage make sure to Drop a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are here every single race weekend. Um, that would have been nice. Yeah, it would have, Jose, it would have. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for me today. It's 4 a.m. sharp. <laughs> and I'm going to take a shower, going to get something to eat, and I'm going to go back to bed. Uh, yeah, I'm going to close the blinds and, <laughs> and wake up late tomorrow. Well, today, actually, it's 4. So... Uh, yeah, that's it. Another race weekend done. Race four out of 24, only 20 to go. <laughs> that's a full, that's more than a full race calendar in most seasons. But yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Not, uh, not China, but, um, but Miami after that. So yeah, take care guys, and I will see you all next time.